Are automakers going to be able to meet California's ZEV mandate? We'll get an answer from one of the experts in that area coming up right after this. Whether it's on television, online, or through social media, AutoLine knows how to effectively get your marketing message to the people you want to reach. Contact Stacy Eman today. Alberto Ayala is the Deputy Executive Officer at the California Air Resources Board, and it's great to have a chance to talk to you today. We, we just listened to a little bit of the session in there. There seems to be some trepidation on the part of automakers as to whether they're going to be able to meet this ZEV mandate by 2025. Uh, we see a lot of plug-in hybrids and electric cars out there, but they're not selling in the numbers that were originally forecast. What's your outlook for this? Well, let's um, let's let's uh, uh, point something out first. Um, I think we do see a, a a regional nature to the market when you say they're not selling. Uh, certainly, out in the West Coast, in California, in Oregon, in in, in, in Washington State, um, the market is 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 exceeding expectations. So uh, we have been very successful with our programs. I think when you look at the Northeast, uh, you see a slightly different dynamic. Um, as a whole, um, you know, we, we know that it's going to be a, a challenge, uh, but uh, all indicators uh, at this point suggest that uh, we are going to succeed. And, and what we are trying to do is uh, help as much as we can, uh, not only with the California market, but perhaps most importantly, by creating new partnerships and new efforts with our friends in the Northeast and in some of the other places uh, that believe in the policy. And again, uh, the industry is, is a clear partner in, in these uh, new re-energized efforts that we are kicking off, all predicated on um, pulling together so that we can make the market succeed. The New England states that you meet, what do you think it's going to take there? Is it more incentives to buy electric vehicles? Is it HOV lanes? Is it a combination of all that? What do you think is needed? Well, you know, it's interesting. I mean, I, I think the, the, the short answer is it's, it's all of the above. I mean, it, it, it is going to take a combination of actions. Uh, clearly, the political will is there with the rec recent commitment from uh, seven uh, governors that agree with uh, Governor Brown in California to, to essentially uh, come together and get behind the technology. Um, it's interesting that because the local realities are different, the things that may work for us in California, like HOV lane access, for instance, may not be the best solution in the Northeast. So one of the things that we're actually doing, working with industry, is identifying those key things that we could collaborate on to, to, to work on. Obviously, rebates are very important, but there are other things and arguably, some of the non-financial incentives uh, can be uh, can be uh, more uh, more uh, influential in making that consumer decision. What are some of the non-financial ones? Well, I mentioned HOV lane uh, access, uh, for instance. Uh, one thing that we have seen uh, achieve tremendous success uh, in in my neck of the woods, for instance, is. Um, access to parking and charging infrastructure. Uh, work for, workforce uh, charging, workplace charging is, is really becoming a, a critical uh, key issue. And uh, we have a lot of the private sector stepping up. And, you know, if, if, if you're an employee who owns an EV and your employer is providing free parking and free charging, that is a very significant incentive to get into the technology. It very much is. Yeah. Alberto Ayala, thanks so much for bringing us a little bit up to speed with the latest going on with the California ZEV mandate. Thank you for the opportunity. It's been a pleasure. Keep tuning in. We've got more updates coming from the Management Briefing Seminars. Follow the future minds of the industry with hashtag Intern Yazaki. Yazaki's team of automotive interns are covering the car management briefing seminars using Instagram and Twitter in partnership with Autoline.tv. It's industry insight from the next generation. Follow hashtag Intern Yazaki or visit www.autoline.tv.